I'm getting ready to take the flying wing out to the field today. You can see that it has the Pixhawk flight controller. And for those of you who have been following along, you know that I'm trying to get the downward facing gimbal mounted into this plane so that I can do some nice aerial mapping and get those photos completely vertical. But before I do that, I want to do a field test and I just wanted to take a minute in this video to show you some of the quick tips that hopefully will help you if you guys are looking at Pixhawk and doing any sort of autonomous flight with the APM plane firmware. Okay, tip number one, and this took me a little while to figure out. So I'm flying with the Tyrannus in the X8R receiver. You'll see that we have the S bus connection coming out and you can see that it's actually going into the RCN port on the Pixhawk, not the S bus, but the RCN. Make sure you have that wired properly. And you can see coming out, we have aileron, elevator, and throttle. So those are the only three channels we need coming out to control the delta wing. You can see my Tyrannus configuration with the Elevon mixing for channel one and two, and then throttle for channel three. If you're not aware, channel eight on the Pixhawk and APM is what is used for configuring your different flight modes. So when I get to the field, I'm actually gonna demonstrate manual fly-by-wire A, and then a return to launch. Okay, the next tip that I wanna share is related to fly-by-wire A mode. I always recommend that you get everything configured flying in manual mode, so that's basically a pass-through, not using any sort of the intelligence on the flight controller. And once you get in the air with manual, make sure that everything's working, then you can switch into fly-by-wire A mode. But what I wanna show you is actually validating that that mode is working properly on the ground before you get in the air. So let me go ahead and arm, push the button. Now we're armed. So I roll right on my transmitter, our right flap is up and our left flap is down. And vice versa, if I roll left, you'll notice that the left flap is up and the right flap is down. So what that obviously tells you is that your control surfaces are working properly. Now if I pitch back, the flaps go up, which will cause the plane to go up. And if I pitch forward, the flaps are down, which will cause the plane to pitch down. Okay, now that we've verified all of our surfaces are correct, I'm gonna flip my switch, and I'm actually in fly-by-wire A mode. And what you expect to see is that when I roll the plane, you'll see the control surfaces change automatically. And if I pitch forward, and back. This is all configured in Mission Planner in your radio calibration screen for your elevons. There are a few check boxes and you need to sort through that, but the main thing that you want to make certain of is that any movement that you make, whether you roll to the right or left or pitch up or down, is that Pixhawk actually counters that movement. So for example, if I'm going to roll right, what you should see happen is that your left flap will come up which will ultimately cause the plane to come back to level. And for example, if I pitch down, you'll notice that my flaps on both sides come up, which will ultimately bring the plane back to a, a level flight path. So as I mentioned, that configuration is in Mission Planner, and there's the ability to actually reverse your channels individually or reverse them together. So ultimately, you'll just have to play around with it, get in the garage, roll, pitch, and make sure that everything behaves properly. And the next thing we're going to do is go to the field. You know, you want to get this up fairly high because I've been in situations where I wasn't flying high enough and flipped into fly by wire mode and this thing took a dive. Thankfully, I was able to recover. You definitely don't want to engage autopilot and see this thing crash into a bunch of pieces. And once you're in the air, you verify that everything is staying stable. Then generally I'll switch out of fly-by-wire A mode and try an RTL test. And once those two are done, then I know it's ready to go into auto mode where I can do a waypoint mission. Okay, so we're going to take this guy out to the field and give this a test. Alright, so we're going to take off in manual mode. I'm going to toggle to fly-by-wire A mode. And then we'll do an RTL test just to check that Pixhawk is working properly. And then we'll land it and then we'll be able to move on to getting the gimbal in the frame. So 
so this thing handles very nicely. It's a big, it's almost 80 inches across. And what I'm going to do and what I recommend when you go into any sort of auto assist mode is to definitely gain some altitude. Fly by wire A mode. And you can see that we're nice and stable. Kind of taking it by. It's a little bit of wind. Nice and stable. Flying directly into the wind and I'm not having to do much work. So now that we know we have our flaps configured correctly, I'm going to go ahead and flip into RTL mode and we'll see what happens. So RTL mode is loitering overhead. I'm going to go ahead and take over manual control and bring it down. So I'd have to say that was relatively successful. There are a few things I still want to tweak and tune with this guy, but all in all, it flew really well. And I'm looking forward now to getting the gimbal mounted, setting up an auto mission. And in an upcoming video, I'll actually do a comparison of the camera mounted directly in the frame, and then one with the camera in the gimbal, doing the same flight pattern, and we'll take a look at the differences. So thank you guys for following along with the project. I'm pretty excited about it. I appreciate all the comments, suggestions, and feedback, and if you have any more, please post them below. Until next time, thanks for watching.